Hey guys, my name is Melissa, and welcome to Learn About Your Westies. And um, in this video, I will be showing you how to do an appropriate exercise with your Westie. As you can see, Bebo is very bored right now. Um, and we're going to do outside tricks um, so you can learn how to do an appropriate exercise for your dog. Because when you don't do an exercise that's good for your Westie, they can get bored and they won't like to do an exercise anymore. Or if your dog doesn't go outside a lot, they'll get just tired automatically after one minute. So um, this is an exercise for your Westie. So then they can start getting agitated and more into the exercising. And um, all you basically want to do is make your Westie happy and um, their health to be great. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so I am outside with my dog Lilo right here. And right now she's going to the bathroom. And um, an appropriate exercise would probably be a healthy one. So we're just gonna walk around. And um, there's a park like over there. Um, so Lilo's just gonna take a quick stop next to the mailbox. Now, when you're when you're giving a dog a healthful exercise, you should always go on a spot that's warm or a grassy place because your dog would want to exercise as well. So um, you would just want to like walk around with your dog because sometimes they can get like really wanting to chase squirrels and stuff. Now, the pooping is different. Um, when your dog is pooping, you should always hold the leash tightly because after they stop pooping, then they would like to start running around because they'll see lizards, they'll like to chase and stuff. Okay. Um, we're going to take a walk around the, the neighborhood. So, yeah. A good exercise for your dog is also running. Okay, so you can definitely turn around if you think you're going too far or if you think you should take a break. But remember, you should always exercise for at least an hour. Or else, if you, if you don't exercise for an hour, then your dog will just suddenly just get tired and want to go home. So you have to make her exercise. Also, um, when you can, Go out in like a field and then go ahead, throw a ball or her favorite chewy toy. It can be absolutely anything when it comes to your dog. Just bring your favorite toy or just go out in the field and play with them or just play with them in your house. Um, make them happy because if you don't have a happy dog, then um, the cause for this might be anxiety, and anxiety is, uh, is not really healthy for your dog. Um, and sometimes your dog just like snatches, if you can see on the camera, like he just snatches you because like they want to be somewhere and they want to be somewhere like somewhere that they like. 
like in the shade here. He love like wants to be in the shade. So then um, a good way to settle that is to just stay in the shade for a couple more minutes and then everything will turn out to be better. Another thing that your dog might want to do is to take a break sometimes and also try to catch bugs. Dogs, especially Westies, they love catching squirrels and running after them. And also another thing is that they love chasing lizards. If you just see a lizard, they'll just start running. You have to have control over um, when they see a lizard or not, or else it might turn out to be a very bad luck for your dog. Because maybe she or he or your Westie will just start running away. But when your Westie just get tired, the best thing to do is just find a good place for her to stay. Not a very sunny spot because Westies can get sunburns, just like humans, but they actually get sunburn on their ears. So try to find a shady place where you can stay and play with your dog. Or else, yes, they will get sunburn. This is a view from my dog, Lilo. Yes, she is a, um, a West Coast white terrier. Now, she's just acting this way because she sees a squirrel. When that happens, just try to get much control, as much control as you can over your dog. Hello. A good way to exercise your dog and prevent memory loss is to also teach your dog tricks. Because when they teach tricks, um, in at least six months, they'll already be doing the, the tricks that you taught them. So let's go back inside so I can show you some tricks that you could do. Okay guys, so um, when your dog comes back from an exercise and they probably get very tired, when this happens, the best thing to do is give them some water. Yes, when their tongue sticks out, that means they're, they're very tired and they need some water. So, the best thing to sell, the best way to settle this is by giving them water. Now, you should be feeding them um, at the exact same time that you feed yourself. Water in. your dog is like when, when your dog is eating the normal activity that they do is they start crawling and barking now it depends on which type and how you treat your dog or just how their personality is because if they start barking when you pet them while you're eating them then you know that they're a normal activity is a ruthless one because when you have that type of activity you normally want to stay away from petting your dog while they're eating now only adults can try this because then your child might get hurt depends on which type of dog you have or 
how you treat your dog. So, I'm going to teach you a couple of tricks that you can show your dog. Now, I'm going to go inside the pantry and get one of my dog's favorite treats. These biscuits. You can also show them how to make, how to do a trick with the favorite food that they eat. Now, a good trick to teach a Westie is a sitting trick. Now, this one I already taught my dog, but there's a paw trick that they give you your paw. Your dog will learn that in six months, depending on which type. That's a big if. Let's go do the trick. Okay guys, so here she is. I got her biscuits. She loves these biscuits, like a lot. I'm going to give her a big biscuit. It's this one. Now, I got these at Trader Joe's. I'm going to show you guys to do with your Westie a sitting trick. Lilo, stand up. Now look, sit. You say the word sit, and you get out of down. to lasso a string on their paw and give it to them. Like this, and set it down. And then after six months, when you do this, or if you do this, give me your paw, or give me your paw. Or, another good way to do this is you put it out in front of them and say paw, paw. Then, They'll put your, their paw on top of your hand and give them the treat. And that's really nice. Now, the first trick that you should teach your dog is sit. Because when you teach your dog this, they'll have discipline to the owner's orders. And they'll actually learn how to do a lot of other tricks a lot easier. You could also watch any other type of video to discover how to do a, a couple of other tricks. Or just ask a dog training teacher for a couple of tricks that you could do with your dog. Now, let's bring us back to base. Hey guys. We're back at base, and I hope you liked the video. Make sure to absolutely, positively subscribe, give a thumbs up, and yeah. So, make sure to check out my blog, which the video is probably on the blog. It's called Mel Tells a Story. Make sure to check out more cool facts about Westies, and just keep reading. Bye!